what? Are t- <laughs> that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? I want to try one more time. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. That works. Should be a vent in that. I'm gonna leave a mark. Not so fast. We go. And he nails the finish. Spider Man does it again. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's, I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. I bet you I can use this. Still got it. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> uh. Wow! Gotcha! Oh, nice! That was awesome. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Bruce, Rota! Carlos be with you. What was that, lady? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. I'm getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. Uh, Piper. Are you okay? What the heck? Um. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> whoa. Yes, whoa. Okay, that, that was a little eerie. Gotcha. Get you too. Oh, sorry. can't help but notice that this might be a little bit bugged because in spite of the fact that she's standing there and talked to us the game does seem to think that Barth here is dead Coward almost got us killed. He killed us. now she is no longer dead she's also called Ramira
Cecil has become a paladin. Fight or flight, sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the, whoa! I was on a motorcycle, never mind. Look at that. Holy crap, it looks so nice. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me, your head is buried inside the fork. I don't know if you're aware of this. I hope they're not here for this place. Uh... Was not me. Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Oh my god, it's GLaDOS. On a scale of one to six? Ah, I'd say I'm setting it up. Strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Oh my god, it is GLaDOS. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. What the fuck? I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh. Um. <laughs> I, um. Um. Oh, whoa. What did I just do? How is it possible to do what I just did? I have no idea where this is going to take me, but I have a feeling it might be a station or the Nexus. What? I'm in RimWorld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... <gasps> Oh my god. No blaster? Y'all move. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. So uncivilized. There we go. <laughs> Commander, contact your troops. Tell them to move to the higher levels. Very good, sir. Whoa. that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Uh, 
Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do, I won't bother checking. Nope. Nope, Cassandra. No. Damn it. You. <sighs> that was real cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. my home too <laughs> I doubt that Bye. hope to see you again Best outfit in the game. What? <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused at our being summoned to court clothes. Oh my god. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seatgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> there is someone up there. Oh my god. Ah! Picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! So that happened. Hours later. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh no. Whoops.
Okay, Uthgird, I'm going to need you to be real careful here. No. Yeah. <sighs> you try and warn them. detention centre somewhere in the borough. According to oh. what I could pass, it was used to interrogate high-value local insurgents. This is one less weapon in their arsenal. I can't believe this was actually useful for something. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. Um, oops. That was maybe not my best move. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here, too. joking at all holy crap <laughs> what's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up see that's much better that stuff serves a useful purpose what What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. What the? What? What is going on? What? You had a free pass right into their base. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. 
it is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. There we go. Wait. Can I not fly it? Look, you may be our captain, but I don't have to like it. What? What? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They force their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> what? This is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what the? This is a whole new area to explore. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Sorry for the long wait. Like I said in Discord, I'm not actually feeling terribly well tonight. Holy crap, it's almost midnight. Wow. Gotcha. I really owe you an apology. I'm... I really have no excuse, except that it has really just been a night. So we might as well get to it. I hope you're doing well, Sketchy. I hope everyone's doing fantastic this evening. We're going to be playing some KOTOR as, uh, again tonight. I had originally planned LEGO Star Wars, but I really want to play KOTOR, and I don't feel well, so damn it, we're going to play KOTOR. Hey, Bob, how's it going? I'm glad to hear it, Sketchy. That's really good. Okay, so when we left off yesterday, I... I do believe we had just gone shopping and picked up lots and lots and lots of healing, which I am not using. I've got 28 med packs, several advanced repair kits, a few repair kits, some advanced med packs. We look good. We're going to go out and we're going to see if we can't find ourselves a better entrance to the grove that we need to visit so you're a merchant we don't need you about to build your second minecraft auto farm very nice i hope that works well uh cat hounds okay There we go. Hey, Anstara, thank you very much. It's nothing serious. It's just kind of the usual thing that I complain about on stream. A little gastrointestinal stuff. I'm sure it'll clear up in no time, but it's making me miserable right now. And it's making stream delayed far more than I thought, so... Well, it, it's... Honestly, it's not the only thing that's making stream delayed, but... It's, uh, you know, not helping. Let's put it that way. I've reached the point where I can start hard mode in Terraria, but you're too scared? Well, just remind yourself of this, Sketchy. What's the absolute worst thing that can happen? You start hard mode in Terraria, and you die. So you start again. What's the big deal? So I think we had to go through the Metalli grounds. Didn't we? Maybe. Ready. Let's go! 
I thought I might have an easier time keeping people alive if I just went with Karth and did his energy blast. That doesn't seem to be accurate. Oh, no. We're not reloading. We're going back to the Ebonhawk. Also don't want to build the Hell Bridge. Oh, I can relate to that. I don't particularly want to build the Hell Bridge in Death Stranding either. Oh, good news for certain people who might be in chat and Stara. I have begun the process over the last two days or so of remodding RimWorld. It's going to be a slow process because I'm being a little bit careful about how I go about it. But... I figure by the time this month is over, we should be ready to bring that back into rotation again. Of course, by the time this month is over, I may also have way more mods than I've ever run before. So it might take two hours to load the game, but we'll see how it all goes. It's the mobs. I have not played enough Terraria to know actually what the Hellbridge is or what kind of mobs spawn, but... Yeah, the same thing just applies, you know? You do it, you get killed, you load your save, you try again. It's not that bad. What's the worst that could possibly happen? You die in a video game. Maybe we can slip by without having to fight. Hey, I think we're slipping by without having to fight. Or, on the other hand, maybe we're not. I actually just came back from my sister's graduation party. What is classic? And what is this? Oh, is this the fancy? Yes, that's the fancy. We don't want the fancy. You've never beaten the game before? Then get to it. Well, that depends on Starom. That's the idea. Oh. Oh, never mind. Um, the idea is that we return RimWorld, but it's also very possible that it will be the return of overmodding and rendering the game virtually unplayable. Either or, we'll have to see. Oh, good. There's another one here. Nice! Uh, that one I think we can skip. Oh, there's more up here. I'll 
There we go, finally. Now, it also occurred to me, I'm just remembering that it occurred to me now, we've got Karth and Mission with us. Both of whom could probably benefit from better armor. Davik's war suit. Oh, wait, I can wear da Wait, I'm not in combat. What are you talking about, game? Defense bonus eight? Holy, wow. Okay. Then maybe Mission can wear the Achani Fiber suit. I'm here. I actually have enough points for a pawn. Hey, Mad, how's it going? I am having a pretty, well, honestly, <laughs> I'm having a pretty iffy night, but stream is better. So, there's that. Let's use regular med kits. Uh -huh. huh? What? Okay. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. I have no doubt that it will. It's nothing too big, just uh, not feeling so great tonight. up ahead, huh? Let's save the game. Hey, Genfair, how's it going? It's a good thing I saved. Holy wow. Mandalorian's bad, you don't say. Going okay, getting stuff prepared for tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow, Gen Fair? I apologize if this is something I should already know. Yeah, you know, it's that whole stream no memory at all thing. Restrict oh crap. Restricted by armor. Gotcha. 
Okay, so I need better armor for my Jedi so that she can do burst of speed. But Karth gets to level up. Same thing in KOTOR 2? Yeah. Not terribly surprising, really, when you think about it. How's Karth with the... Okay, he has full armor proficiency. Maybe I'll give him the really fancy, tough suit of armor. She can have this one, I think. Plus three, yeah, she should be okay with that one. And I'll go back to this. I still can't use it? Wow. Maybe you can't feel the force as readily when encased in a foot of advanced metal. I think the designers of all of these games looked at the movies and realized the Jedi never wear any kind of armor whatsoever. And just figured, okay, Jedi should not be wearing armor, therefore... We're going to give them ability penalties. Because clearly they had... Oops, no, no. Mm -hmm. Clearly, they had not seen the Clone Wars when they made this game. Ariadu Strength Amplifier. The obvious answer is that it's a game balance thing. I just wonder if there's a lore excuse. No, let's not load instead of saving. We did that last night. Best not to repeat ourselves. North, path south, path south, path north. Let's head into the middle. Your arrival here is well timed. I am Boluk, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communication does not pose a problem as both the suspects and I speak basic in Hadiz. 
I was going to handle this case myself, but now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you have been learning your lessons at the Academy. Though you are not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. What do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives both at the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the case for you. There is little benefit if you do not solve this problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you've gathered all the evidence you think you need, run through the possible scenario with me. If you're unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with this myself. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds as it was earlier today, but that is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. The dead man, Calder Nedek, was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it. It has been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was hand and gulled. He was unarmed. The other was Rickard Lusoff, who was carrying a hunting laser. Both men say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accuse the other. Obviously, there is more to this than what we have been told. Is there anything else I should know? There is one last thing. When I arrived, Tandon was holding his side and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this as we progress through the case. Handon holding his side. Rickard favoring one of his legs. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. In Knights of the Old Republic 2, at least, there are armors you can wear. They're just quite specific. It's a trade on the armor itself. Interesting. Maybe such things exist in this game, too. I can't remember. Neither do I. It's been way too long. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm yeah. Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. He underestimates the intelligence of Jedi, noted. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner hand into the prison he belongs in? Sun was in his eyes. Okay. And this was hours. This was supposed to be while it was very cloudy. So already I'm kind of suspicious. Rain clouds were gathering. The sun shouldn't have been in anybody's eyes. So he's clearly lying. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantarim. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iliars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cath hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cath hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the planes. Small farms and holdings dot the planes and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? You could swear he said Dantooine. Well, I think I have an explanation for that, Candlejack. That's probably because he did, in fact, say Dantooine. 
My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Rickard did it. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Should I have? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, when all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man, Calder, lying on the ground, dead. Did you see the killer? Actually, let's not lead him. Go on. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Okay, nothing new popped up there, but we need to investigate the body ourselves. The body of Cal Caldernetic. He was apparently shot from behind with a blaster. So, what do you want to know? Why were you out here? Baluk said you were limping. Are you hurt? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body. But it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out hunting Eerie as south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. So, what do you want to know? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those calf hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot and pow, it went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body and the areas was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Not just yet. So, what do you want to know? Right. Okay. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis of the body. Is there any... Okay. These planes are rife with wild animals. Look, there have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the planes. Small farms and holdings dot the planes and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Okay. I want to discuss the murder. Very well, we should start at the beginning. If we find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, we will no doubt resolve the case. Hendon said that he was nearby and heard a shot and ran over, only to find Calder already dead. He said Rickard came out of the shadow of the rocks, holding a blaster in his hands. Rickard said that he was hunting Irias, saw one through the glare of the sun, and shot at it. It is possible that Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally and Handon may have found the body, but that seems a very unlikely explanation. It is more likely that at least one of them is lying. Obviously, one of these men is not telling us something, but where does the truth lie? Rickard is lying. 
Why do you believe that? It was cloudy. There was no sun glare. Yes, well done. It was very cloudy this morning. We have a new library follower here on the channel. Let's welcome them properly. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. If it had happened as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. It seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This lie doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I think you have taken the first step in unraveling this mystery. We should proceed on to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about their relationship with the victim. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. This is really making my urge to play a mystery game much, much stronger. I have several that we can go into. I've got the old Sierra Adventure games, uh, you know, the Colonel's Bequest and the Dagger of Amon Ra, the Laura Bow Mysteries. I've got those. And I've got one called The Sexy Brutale, which takes place in a casino of that name, which looks really good because it also involves time looping, which is always fun. And uh, there, of course, is... What was that other one? Greeny played it a while back. Um, shoot. Name. What is it? Fairly recent game, sort of Baldur's Gate style. Disco Elysium, that's the one. So, lots and lots of options. Oh, and I've got the first Danganronpa game as well. So, what do you want to know? Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. You really want to leave. So, what do you want to know? Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Less insulting, more answering. Right. Wow. Is there any other information you need? Can you tell me about Calder and Rickard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrel spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? That definitely speaks to motive. Very well. I will be here to assist you. It's all coming back to me. I explicitly remember this being my least favorite part of this game. Actually, this is one of my favorite parts of this game, I have to admit. How can I be of further assistance? Did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. Very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him. Yet. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? That's all for now. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. In spite of his growing impatience. Actually, there was one more question. How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. 
I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. How can I be of further assistance? You're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, so he might be hiding something too, although I'm still a lot more suspicious of Rickard. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Is there any other information you need? How about Calder and Handon? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? A speeder rented by the two of them together? Interesting. Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? You knew Calder better than you admit. You rented a speeder with him. But I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Punch his face in? Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Now the needle starts to shift a little bit. That's a very personal motive for murder. Wow. How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Droid? Is there any other information you need? Nothing about the divorce proceedings, huh? Very well. I will be here to assist you. Ah, uh, Akupa, Chekupa? Gino Mulera Kenpaija, Kislimu Poduama? Plot twist, the Jedi killed him and the two of them are freaking out and lying about it to not get lightsabered. Wow. <laughs> we know Rickard lied about the sun blinding him while he was shooting, but we need more to go on. Let's examine the relationship of each man with the victim. Hendon told me he barely knew the victim. On the other hand, Rickard and the victim were business partners. However, according to Rickard, they got along quite well. On the surface, neither man seems to have a motive for killing Calder. Handon is lying. Why do you believe that? He knew his wife was cheating on him. Well, that certainly is a motive for murder. That case is taking shape. However, you mustn't jump to any quick conclusions. Perhaps we should now focus on the murder weapon itself. You might want to see what information the witnesses and the information droid can provide you about the blaster found near the body. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. So, what do you want to know? What about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So, what do you want to know? You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood between you. 
Right. <laughs> okay. I guess he's not going to deny it. How can I be of further assistance? What do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? So, again, one of them is lying because apparently, according to Rickard, Calder had only the one blaster and it wasn't the one that was found at the scene. Interesting. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Is there any other information you need? Is there a report of Hendon's blaster being stolen? Oh, sorry, I meant Handed, not Calder. Calder's the dead guy. I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there has not seemed to be one. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. So a supposedly stolen blaster with no report. Very well. I will be here to assist you. So, what do you want to know? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. We already asked that. Okay. Right. How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Okay. Ah, a kupa che kupa. Gino mulera king paija slimo podwama. I want to discuss the murderer. Ah, a kupa che kupa. Gino mulera king paija slimo po. The blaster is Handon's. He lied about it being stolen. The blaster is Handon's, but he reported it stolen. The blaster didn't belong to the victim. So we have caught Handon in a lie. Interesting. But I think we may need one final piece of the puzzle. There was a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back for analysis just before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire with the information droid about it. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Entler just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Well, we need a lot of information, but we're not going to get it, apparently. Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? No new questions. You wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. Knock his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh, my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife right under my nose, no less. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. 
I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Okay. So, what do you want to know? Uh, right. He doesn't have anything new either. All right, Mr. Jedi, let's discuss the case. I assume when the we blood on the weapon belongs to the victim, but I want to be thorough. What have you learned about the blood on the weapon? It does not belong to the victim. That is surprising. So the blood must belong to one of the suspects. But which one? Well, they're both injured. But we have to examine the injuries. It's Handin's blood. Why do you believe that? He is clutching his side. Handon has been moving oddly since I arrived. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. Hey, Patriotic, how's it going? It started off kind of crappy, not feeling especially well, but I'm feeling a bit better now. There is blood. Handon appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. It would seem there is one logical scenario. Handon killed Calder for having an affair with his wife. Rickard was out hunting and accidentally shot Handon after he had killed Calder. I agree. And so you have made your judgment in this case. I can leave now, then. You can go now. What? Yes, Mr. Gold, is there something wrong? Do you not feel justice has been done here? Do you not feel you should be taken to the Enclave for sentencing? No. If I'm going, I'm not going alone. You don't know what you've done. What do you mean? Look, I came out here, I admit, to kill Calder, but so did Rickard. He must have thought it was Calder when he shot and hit me. So I'm going to prison, but I shouldn't be going alone. Did you idiots have to let the slime ball go? It appears your investigations were incomplete. I imagine if we examine the business records, we will discover Calder had been cheating Rickard. That information would have been easily accessible through the information droid. You should have looked into it during your investigation. Yes, you tentacle-headed moron. I came out here and killed Calder, but Rickard was here to do that too, and he shot me by mistake. I will return to the Enclave with Mr. Gold in custody, and I will also have the authorities apprehend Mr. Lusoff. It is a minor inconvenience, but one well worth the cost if you have learned your lesson here. I realized your judgment was incorrect, but I allowed you to make it so you could understand that there are always consequences to our actions. As a Jedi, you must always remember this. Good day, and may the Force be with you. Wow, okay. So we got pretty close, but... Yeah. Yeah, things are going reasonably well now, Patriotic. I'm I'm feeling a bit better now that we're into the stream a little bit. Okay, so the bridge is over there. The body seems to be gone. I think I need to save after that. That was a pretty extensively long sequence. Let's do that. Yeah, that was a good half hour. Yeah, the music is beautiful, Janfair. The audio in general, this game was made during a time when it was really, really, really unusual to have full voice acting. Now, granted, they get to cheat a little bit because they have a lot of alien NPCs that they didn't have to record actual English dialogue for. They just repeat the same alien gibberish over and over. But even so, all of the human characters and a lot of the alien characters that speak basic, they have fully recorded voice lines. In, and it that, that was not at all the norm way back then. That was very unusual. Is this still not what we're looking for? What the heck? Sandral Grounds, that's not it. Okay, so it was not actually the... 
It was not the middle we were looking for. Let's go back over. It looks like we've got some unexplored space. I also have to take a break very soon. Looks like I'm actually quite late for my first break. I just want to examine a little bit more of the state of the map here. And then I'll look at taking one. Wait, backpack? Where's that? Oh, it's that backpack. Okay. Guys, please. Thank you. Again, Sandral Grounds. That was one of the things I loved about it at the time. Yeah. Oh, here we go, Juhani. Okay, this is where we want to be. Which means this is an excellent time for me to take that break. Alright, I will be back in a few minutes, folks. I just like to get up every hour or so, move around a little bit, keep the circulation flowing. So if you need to get up, grab a drink or a snack, get some food, whatever you need to do, this is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in maybe three and a half to five minutes or so. Could you keep that down, please? You're making it hard to aim. Thank you. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Oh. Um. I forgot about these guys too. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. Crap, he has a bad motivator. Nope, too fast. Darn. Hey, Gucci's. That's camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although. Well. That was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Whoops. Boom Boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, Boom Boom. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Boom Boom. Am I being attacked by chickens? Oh, you... Ah, oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different.
when I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not really dead. <laughs> oh, come on, cut it out. This is so good. Looks like it's being held by Rebel Scum. Look at that. Holy crap, it looks so nice. Okay, I'm back. All right, Juhani. Mandalorian melee shield. I know I saved recently, but I'm gonna save again. Oh, thank you, Sketchy. There we are. Need to buff up a bit. She's actually pretty tough. It is not coffee, it's tea. I was drinking coffee for the first part of the stream. Okay, I oh, I should probably also heal a little bit. That's it. I only have the one buff. Crap. Well, I guess there's the energy shield. I will be your doom. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have a good night, Bob. Who are you? I am Johanny, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. You slew Quatra, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? I have decided to slay you and remove the taint. Yes, that'll be good. I was sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? I have no desire to kill you, Juhani. You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I have always thought they held me back. Or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Come now, Juhani. You're a beautiful young woman who has much talent. The first step on the path to true knowledge is knowing that you are ignorant. I actually really dislike this, the way it's written, so I think we might go with this one. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. It is not your fault, Juhani. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on. I suppose there is no help. No hope. I must kill you, then. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. I think, in my own way, I truly loved her. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Anger? Show them that you have freed yourself of this base passion. The council may forgive a lot. Your master surely won't be forgiving you, wow. They will surely take you back. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? Of course it would. They would always accept you back. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to you. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. I kind of love that encounter, but at the same time, man, I wish it was always that easy to turn someone away from the dark side. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? Not your master. Wow. <laughs> okay, now, was she literally the taint on this grove? Have we now succeeded in our mission? I actually kind of assume that yes, we have, so we might want to go back. We're definitely not some random apprentice. Well, that's actually true, but spoilers.
We've never actually talked to Yoda's granddad here. Master of Bandar, what's up? It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Go to Master Jar and inform him that Johanni has returned to us. I think you may be nearing the end of your apprenticeship. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As chronicler of the academy here on Dantooine, I find your quest for knowledge admirable. But I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Revan's tail. May the fall. Okay. We saw that dialogue many times late the other night. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Johanni has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. Amazing. Okay. Okay, so we're actually pretty close to dinging up another level. Now that you have been accepted as a Padawan, the Jedi Council might feel, might tell you more about the bigger picture and what you must do. Missions brother, missing companion. You ha Oh, right, Elise Montagna, who has lost her companion. Her droid companion. We still have to discover the droid. And, much more importantly, there is a cave on Dantooine where you can locate lightsaber crystals. We need to go there and loot the crap out of it, because I want more than one lightsaber. I don't know what I'm going to specialize in yet. If I'm going to be a single blade, or if I'm going to do dual blades, or what the deal is. But I, I want the option. I want to have at least two or three lightsabers ready and available. So actually, let's not even talk to the council yet. We'll just let them wait. We're going to go out and we're going to see if we can find more th stuff and possibly things. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Have you spoken to the Council? I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side. To see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Do you think it's easy enough that a simple group of people blocking your path for five minutes is enough to turn you to the dark side? Because that seems like it might happen here. Have you put any feats into any of the combat trees, like dual wield or dueling? Uh, I, I have some feats in both of those, actually, on Stara. So where is Quatra now? After our last battle. Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The 
Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Hey, I'm glad to see you're not getting hung up on all this. The past is in the past, you know? First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I, I can't say I approve of their training methods. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. There. I think we just saved her from joining the dark side. Thank you, Sketchy. Nemo, how's the things going now? I hear you managed to return Johanny to the Order. Congratulations. I regret not being able to tell you more, but some things you must see with your own eyes. Is there something I can help you with? I've been given a task by the Council. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? Very well. Is there something else I can help you with? I'd like to know about you. About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? Why are you named Nobody? I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I serve the good and, hopefully through that, the people of the Republic. Are you a member of the Council? I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place. High or low, is there something else I can help you with? I must be going. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Thank you. Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? I killed some of them on the plains. Good. Good. Put them down like the animals they are. But Whoa. now that you killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him, too. I'll come back if I find the leader. Thank you, young Jedi. How much cash do we have? None to speak of. Okay. I have an early morning, so I'm going to lurk into the night. Have a good night, Ansara. It was nice having you here. Let's go to the Matale grounds. Hey, they're back. What the heck? And I have only dialogue options? What the heck? You've been holding out on us again. If you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No, please! Take my wife and children instead. Anything! Okay, so I guess at some point we had to reload a saved game and we didn't actually kill these guys.
Okay. That's it. All right. Well, if I'm not going to wear that other armor because Jedi, there is no reason Mission can't have it instead. I'm here. Now, I don't think we actually have any business here on the Metalli farm. So we're just gonna run around the outskirts and see if there are any convenient caves located nearby. Though I suspect if they were gonna hide a cave filled with kyber crystals, they would probably not put it right beside somebody's house. Because, you know, that kind of thing would spread stories pretty quickly if it were that close to where somebody lives. People would have heard of it. There'd be investigations, lightsabers would be made, there'd be no looting to be done. It'd be this whole thing. And back to the grove we go. About the wrong part of the grove. Oh, hi. Oh crap, Karth! I think we're toast.
Damn it, she killed herself too. Rats. Okay, well. Our autosave is 14 hours 53 minutes. Our latest actual save is a few minutes after that, so we'll have to load this one. Hopefully this is after the whole Juhani thing. Oh, it is. It's right before we... Oh, man. Okay. Fine. At least these guys are pretty easy now. You've been holding out of no! Mandalorian data pad. I guess we should examine that, huh? Jarg, did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes and I thought it could jam. Huh, <laughs> consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground within a kilometer. How's the map over here looking? Oops. Okay, so we effectively haven't mapped this at all. So yeah, I did lose a bit of saved progress then. Just going to encircle the entire farm, make sure we get all the walls nice and located, and in the process, verify that there are no secret caves hiding around. Pretty sure they're not in this part of the map anyway. Probably not going to use this a lot. It's convenient for getting around, but man, it sure does get hard on the eyes after a moment. Hey, JH. Yes, as a matter of fact, we are a Jedi. I just completed the trials. go. 
How are you doing, JH? It is excellent to see you. I think I've got a bunch of poison grenades I should probably use. Actually, I only have a couple poison. Maybe I'll keep them. Oh, crap. Little slow there. What? What? Oh, that was uh, because I had used this, J.H., Burst of Speed. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Karth should remind you a lot of Mass Effect. We're going to save again because that's several battles we've completed now that need to be preserved. There we go. So many mines, what the heck? Do I not have any grenades? Oh, I, I guess, right, I, I remember this from yesterday. Grenades only come up when, no. He's Kaiden Alenko as well. Same voice. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is Juhani's Grove. Thank you, Sketchy. I'm kind of just waiting until we die on this one. Although... Okay, Karth might actually have a... Nope. Alright, there we go. I thought Karth might have a fighting chance at it, but he got a little too unlucky there. It's in your next play pile. Excellent. You know what? My 
as well. Now, I think those ones back there may be the same group that just killed me. Come on, guys. We're just going to depopulate the entire planet of these things one beast at a time, as is the Jedi way. Yep, so that's it. We took them out. I don't see any caves around here, though, sadly. First rack ghouls, now cath hounds? Yes. sure we have it all mapped up. Looking good. Now before we go take him on, I'm gonna just over save again. If there is such a thing. Yep, this is Don Tween, Navi. Briefly mentioned in the original Star Wars movie as a possible location of a rebel base. By Leia. We can confirm. Since the Rebel Alliance does not yet exist in this game, there's no rebel base here. go. How are you doing, Nubby? If there's anybody here who does not know Nubby Do, you should really be aware that she is a fantastic artist, fantastic streamer, wonderful person, great friend, and ridiculously talented artist, and you all need to go follow her. Another Mandalorian data pad and dual level ups. Computer use is now a class skill. Demolitions is class skill. Stealth is cross class, unfortunately. Let's catch awareness up to the... Actually, no. I want to keep my persuade up there, too. Powers. Yeah, okay. You know what? Really need cure. Q. 
secure is a real hefty priority. Mission. Sneak attack five. I'm here. Let's go to the Sandral grounds. We've never been there before. You just woke up? That's fair, Nubby. Oh, good. Oh, my God. crap. Hey, is that a cave I see? I do believe that's a cave that I see. C842. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. A personal assistance droid, you say? As I said, I am C842, a personal assistance droid. Although in recent months, the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. You don't say. Are you Elise's droid? Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. You're running from her? Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me, obsessed even. She she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Er, uh, all the time? You don't want to know. <laughs> Probably not. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. You sought them out? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? Fine, I'll destroy you and tell her why you did it. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. Wow. I don't heal a lot with it, but it means I'm far less reliant on all those med packs and stuff. And I love the fact that it cures the whole party, too. That's really, really good. Okay. So we've resolved the personal assistance droid. The remarkable droid, yes, Vicious. How are you doing, by the way, Vicious? It's good to have you here. I think I noticed you come in earlier, and I don't think I said anything, so I apologize. Q. 
Kinrath. Oh, okay, so we're not particularly safe in here. I don't remember what Kinrath... Oh, they're bugs. Resolved being the operative word. You're not wrong. Can I save? Oh, that's good to know, Vicious. I wasn't feeling well before I started stream, but things have gotten a bit better. Ah. Damn. That was a lot more than I expected. Okay, actually, I'm going to take a break now, and then we'll give that another try before we go up against seven Kinrath. So if you folks will bear with me, I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. If you need to get up and get yourself some food or a drink, now's a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here when I'm back. isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. There we go. That was so much okay. better. I know how to get out of here. I wonder if maybe the spear would be easier. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, 
Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I. <laughs> well, crap. Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? What is going on? What? I'm just gonna leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. They are just absolutely shredding everything that I don't get myself. This 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 is working for me. Oh my god. Now would be a real good time to prove me right, guys. Wow. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Now I'm gonna put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh, Wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Vicious. Okay. What's that, J.H.? Oh, my God. 
Okay, let's say we, uh... <laughs> My hands were one button too far to the right, and that's the result. Yep, I've been there. I've had that happen. I think we're gonna wait. I'm gonna save. save again now that we've reduced the amount of resistance we have ahead of us. force options open a little. How many do we have up there? Too many. much better. Hive Kinrath? Oh, crap. Come on. These fragile eggs could be easily destroyed, snuffing out the innocent life within. You have acquired a lightsaber crystal. going to harm the eggs. Boop. 
Durasteel Bonding Alloy Response Package. Okay, I think that's all we're getting from this particular cave. There's no other way to go here, is there? Nope, that's it? Okay. Let's get healed up here. And we should also have a workbench somewhere nearby. These robots up. I hear that Master Jar feels you are now ready to become a full-fledged member of our order. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, Padawan. It brings me great joy to see another who has joined our order, particularly in these trying times. The path of the light is a difficult one to walk, and many have fallen into the darkness. But I am certain you will not be one of those. So, Padawan, what can I do for you? I am looking for crystals to alter my lightsaber. There are caves here on Dantooine that hold the rare crystals we use in our lightsabers, but if you wish to go there, you must be careful. The caves are a place of great danger. Now you tell me. Hey, Aaron Lord, seventy hours? Bondar Crystal. On hit properties stun DC 10, 25% for two rounds. Special. This crystal was mined on a far orbit asteroid circling the Alderaan system. It produces a volatile lightsaber beam that pulses on impact, discharging part of its energy into an opponent. Fourteen hours a day for five days of stream? Oh, are you talking about the... Uh jasper's game thing that's amazing that's a lot of hours that would have been good to know earlier yes vicious okay no rubat attack plus one damage plus one upgrade item lightsaber used in lightsaber construction rubat crystal is mined on themis it produces a clearly defined blade that a Jedi can easily focus on. do we have here oh you know what else I might have those were just the special effect crystals well I have yellow as well and two green okay Training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. 
This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. I will investigate the ruins right away, but what happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? In fairness, that's not Yoda, but Yoda could refer to pretty much anybody and call them young and it would be accurate in comparison. What can you tell me about Bastila? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Ah, we can have... I demand justice! What? The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals. If there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. I shall look into it at once. If Shen Matali is not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. You must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to devote our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Must have been Twitch getting out of sync. Yeah, that happens sometimes, JH. Um, they're two different planets, Aaron Lord. Tatooine is a desert planet. This one is a rather nice meadowy planet. Okay, so she's a Jedi Sentinel. Interesting. Stun droid, wound, slow, fear, shock, force push, drain life, force suppression, throw lightsaber.
There's this intergalactic threat, but we need you to settle this neighborhood dispute over property lines first. Yeah, that's pretty much the way most quest lines go. Um... <laughs> Let's do that one. There we go. What? Okay, now... Can we switch up our party selection? Yes. So we do want Bastila, but I'd also kind of like... Actually, you know what? Let's have Bastila and Mission, because I don't think I've ever had the two of them together at the same time. They probably have some decent dialogue together. That's not the way out. How do we get out of here? Oh, it is the way out. Juhani, how are things? I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Okay, so we can't take her as part of the party yet. Like first trying to exit the chamber we are in? Yes. That's the final part of the Jedi Trials and by far the most challenging. It's the secret fourth trial. Gar, you're different. What's up? Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? E I don't know. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Who are you? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms, but... The cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. You mentioned cat hounds. Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? I'm pretty good for now, Neelix, but let's ask about Mandalorians. Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? How's Voyager doing? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. No, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Do something? Has something happened? Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too. But he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but... Even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. 
I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Allen, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? What about John and his daughter? His daughter was killed by Mandalorians when their farm was raided. He's been taking it pretty hard. If you want to ask him about it, he's just north of here. It's not my place to say anything else. Is there anything else you require? No, I think that'll about do it. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah. May the Force be with you. I know. You're more used to live long and prosper. Trying to catch stream to... Or cache stream to decrease lag. Yeah, maybe. If it's a new feature, it might be causing some issues. We need to report into Elise here. My droid is still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. I'm afraid your droid had to be destroyed. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Uh oh. Um, did we just get a bad ending? Low latency being turned off in North America? Oop, but, hmm. Well, let's find out if the cath hounds are still roaming. Oh, they are. What do you know? Okay. Well, we're going to take on the cath hounds with a couple of Jedi and see how that goes. Not bad. It's so much easier with her around. Having two Jedi in the party is amazing. Turning on low latency basically turns off the cache, but it causes buffering for some. If you buffer a few times, Twitch encourages you to disable it and have a cache. Yeah, I find generally speaking, having a cache is better than not having a cache. And just plain old having cache is even better still, if you can manage it. But that's rough in this economy. There we go.
Dead settler. Cardio package, Ichani light armor, Ichani shield, Verpine headband, Cassus's diary. This is the diary of Cassus Sandral, amateur archaeologist. It details his efforts to discover the source of the ancient ruins found across the surface of Dantuin. Upon reading it, you gather that he had found some correlation between the ruins and something called the Rack. Have a good night, Aranor. Thank you so much for stopping in. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> well, that answers What's your that? question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Wow. Okay, that was very entertaining. I like that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Davik's visor. Improved power blast. Uh, she's mostly a ranged fighter, so we'll not do that one. And she can't do those. Um, she's got a, do we have anything better than a disruptor rifle? One to six to, oh, one to six, that's actually not very great. Maybe we have a better rifle she can have. You can have the blaster carbine. <laughs> Thank you, Sketchy. Stick to the mission, mission. I'm here. Tali pass card required to enter. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. I wish to speak to Alan Matale. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matale wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Why are you so certain the Sandrils are to blame? Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the Core Worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. 
The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. What were they doing here? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable, measured response. Where can I find the Sandrals? Follow their stink south of here and you shall find them. I demand action on this matter, Jedi. Why does the Council insist on stalling? Do not panic. The life of Please my son is at stake. Is it possible? Seek help from Joduri, El, Talera, or other librarians as needed. Be ready to distribute library guards. Friends from the iceberg have arrived, folks. How's it going, Tap Girl? Thank you so much for bringing your people over. It's so good to see you. How are you doing this evening? What were you streaming? Tell me all about it. How did it go? What is going on? Crispy, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Uh, folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. We are raising money this month, all month long, for St. Jude Play Live 2022. And we're doing that this evening by playing some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I don't really have any incentives, unfortunately, for this game. I'm actually thinking I might have to come up with some because we're going to be playing a lot of that this month. But um, I will be playing Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, again soon. And that's what all my incentives are based around. So, um, yeah, if if you want to stick around and help out with that, even just lurking in the stream helps more than you would possibly believe. So, uh, yeah, I play a lot of RPG games, good games with narrative and excellent character development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, and lately, more and more retro RPG and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, also feel free to go and hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you all in properly. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Uh, <laughs> your chat with Marlins? What the heck, Crispy? Anyway, here's the video. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. I have not... I have not looted that, sir. Should be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Let me see. Uh, it was good. We played some DVD and then played some 
Horizon Forbidden West did some side quest things and then tried to help Zoe with the Grimhorns. The Grimhorns quest line was really good. I remember that one. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. So we are playing some Knights of the Old Republic this evening. Yes, I haven't played it in a long, long time. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. The Jedi cannot be bought. I will remain neutral despite your attempted bribe. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. You'd think living so close to a Jedi enclave, he would have more respect for the abilities of the Jedi. If I may have a moment, let's welcome the newest follower of the Library of Lore to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. It's so good. I'm loving it. Still not super far into it, but we are heading to get Demeter next. Oh, does that mean you've already gotten Poseidon by any chance? I don't want to say anything in case you haven't, but it kind of sounds like you've done Poseidon. Where's our map? Okay, path south. Path south. I think we're going to go back to this path south. Because we already cleared that area. You went for it first. So did I, Tap Girl. It was the lower level one. But, oh my god, that area is so beautiful. I love the whole Las Vegas thing they did. The way they dealt with that area in the game is just... Ugh. It was perfection. It's absolutely jaw-dropping. It really does. It really does. What platform are you playing the game on? Oh, I guess, actually, you don't really have a choice, do you? It has to be PS5. Or no, I guess it could be PS4 as well. It has to be PlayStation, but it could be either of them. I'm very jealous. I want cake now. Oh, hello. Why are you not dead? PS4, nice. I'm actually very curious, Tap Girl. How well does it run on PS4? Wait, are these guys... No, yeah, doesn't look like they've respawned. I'm not sure why you've respawned. Where's, now we need the map for this area. Path north, path south... Ancient Grove. Path south, okay. Greeny, how you doing? It's good to see you. Back at the cave again. Did we? Oh, we never actually found the estate. Okay. Gonna drop a lurk and get some sleep. Hope you have a great rest of stream. Thank you so much, Matt. It's really good to have you here as always. You am. It runs pretty well. I bet it runs better on the five. It does take a sec for menus to open and things. Got it, Tap Girl. Got it. Fingers, no worries. I am fluent in typo. 
Oh, what have we here? I believe this is what we in the industry refer to as an opportunity to save the game. Duros Warrior. Wow, that is so much easier with Bastila. I know it was towards the end, but your actual thoughts on your Oblivion stuff. It was looking really good, Greeny. Really, really good. I I guess I must have caught, when I was looking at your stream to prepare the raid, I must have caught an unfortunate choice of NPC, because the other ones that I saw when I was actually there and watching you play looked infinitely better. And I love what you've done with the environmental effects and all the metal retexturing and the dungeon stuff. Looks really, really nice. Looks really good. Metal box. I'll take it. They've got a lot of loot here. Another Mandalorian data pad. And some stabilization gauntlets. I might have a look at those. They might benefit mission. Oh, demolitions plus two. Okay. I was thinking shooting. But, okay, I guess not. Jarg went missing in Sector B, then Riza saw someone moving south of there. Take a couple of troops and find out who it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. Okay. My husband bought brought home some chicken nuggets, so I'm gonna lurk in Nom no problem, Tap Girl, no problem. One of the mods is that anything that is not locked, you loot it, and it is like the Fallout 4 type looting. Very nice. That everything in the area? Okay. We still haven't found the Mandalorian leader yet. Oh, you know what? Nice. 
Oh, I wasn't telling you to get Vilja. I was just wondering if you had, because you seemed really excited about it when we talked about it the other day. You know, if you want to get it, that's great. I would love to see it. If you don't, then I might have to play it myself at some point and try the mod then. Okay. Guard your eyes. This high speed effect is a little bit rough on the vision, but I want to map out this area thoroughly, and this is the fastest way to do it. So it doesn't last all that long, actually. Presumably, if you put more points into it, it'll go faster and last longer. I'm down for it. I did not even know of it, so once I figure it all out, yep, she'll be there. Excellent. I come on behalf of the Jedi Council, actually. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Santos are not involved. This is nothing but a Matale witch hunt. I am not in league with the Matales, but I must speak to Nurik. Nurik left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurik will meet with you there. All you've done is all graphics and texture mods. You've done a really good job. It looks really fantastic so far. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Your son Cassus is dead. I have seen his body. Cassus is dead? I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart I knew it must be true. What, what happened to my son? He was killed by Cathounds while exploring the Dantooine ruins. Cathounds? I, I was so certain the Matali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please, the diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. Here is the diary, Nurik, but you may keep your money. I need no reward for this task. I thank you for this. The diary is all I have left of my son. We have nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. Actually... You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Matale? Who are you? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Matales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. Does this have anything to do with what happened to Shen? My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You do have an issue with one mod you found? What's that, Greeny? Judge him. What has your father done? You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him. But there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. 
Please, tell me what happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. What is the problem between your families? Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Okay. Specifically about the guards, they have their own models, so some mods don't like that. Ah, uh, yes. Some of the quirks of the game. So the police are still potatoes. Got it. Got it. I understand. That probably explains a bit about what I was seeing yesterday. Right now, though, it's about time for me to go and take my uh, latest break. So if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to run and grab a last bite to eat for the evening. Uh, if you guys need to grab some food yourself or maybe a drink or get up and move around, whatever you need to do, this is a really good opportunity to do it. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes long, so I'll meet you back here after that. didn't work so well. What? Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? Guys handle the fighting. I'll just be here with the looting. Whoops. Oh. Where the hell did he come from? You have to forgive Erend, he's discovered the far future version of Spotify. Well, that was the thing. This is the end. Oh! Wow! Proceed, mobilizing now. Out. Right now. That was brutal! Holy crap! Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. 
what are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Oh, shoot. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Moff Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffice. <laughs> the Grand Moffice. I love it. Try one more time. <laughs> Oop. Inga, no, no, no. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. Wow. Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. Thank you, Tagarog. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Which I think we're going to use. So do I. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Jage. What I'm guessing you saw is you were peeking before a raid. They didn't have good looks there. Ah, that's okay. What I saw when I, you know, was actually there more than made up for that. Yurik has nothing more to say to you. He left strict instructions. He was not to be disturbed under any circumstances. My investigation is not yet complete. My orders are clear. Please leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted on the family's land. Well, okay. I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. Now, is it that door? Or is it a door in this... No, there's no door here. I guess it's that door. Central security droid. 
I'm here. I'm here. All right. Oh, remains. Basic targeting computer, energy shield level one. Let's have a, oops, look at the map. suppose we can access the party selection screen no how about if we just dip out the door for a moment I think this might be a mission I mean I'm I'm liking having mission along she has great dialogue with Bastila but I think this is really a job for t3 no actually change stuff. Oh, T3 levels. Expert droid level 8. Attributes. We gotta bump up that intelligence. Skills. Computer use. And security. Repair. Yeah, that's fine. Good. give him two weapon fighting because I think I actually do have him equipped with two pistols so it would be good if he weren't suffering massive penalties to use them yeah okay that's much much better good now oh we do have a basic targeting computer excellent We can't use the droid light plating type 3 yet. What's that he's got? That's an ion rifle. Wait. No, ion blaster. And a disruptor pistol. Okay. You know what? Let's actually switch out this disruptor pistol. No, I don't have another ion blaster to give him. Okay. I'm here. What? just realized I made significant changes and improvements there might be good to lock those in zero spikes he can do it for free north hallway Okay, so they've got a mine there. Corrupt patrol droid target. Oh my god, we've only got two spikes? Ugh, we're so ill prepared for this. Hey, there's intruders. Central security. They're not really doing their jobs. Mm. 
Now they're really not doing their jobs. Okay, no confirmation that they actually do have the Sandral kid, though. Oh, I can't download the schematic. That's unfortunate. I'm here. Excellent. Thank you, T3. What can I do? Oh, remains. Hang on. Droid medium plating type 1. Medium, you say? That's light plating type 1. He's got light plating type 2. Let's compare. So that gives defense bonus 4. That also gives defense bonus 4. What can I do? I'm here. Prison key, that's going to be important. Holding cell is right there, is it? Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. No worries, no worries. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Actually, why do you care about Shen? Shen, there are many... Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Okay, okay, no worries. You don't mind if I loot the place, do you? Because I'm going to loot the place. Thank you. Security room. T3? Thank you. I'm here. I'm here.
Are Jedi always the only hope? Nope. Others can be too. Really depends on the situation. Awareness plus two, light scan. Ooh, plus four awareness. Will plus three, awareness plus two. Never get between Gordon and his loot. You know me so well. What's in there? Okay. Um. Let's save, shall we? Advanced med pack, definitely worth it. <clears throat> I'm here. Hmm? What can I do? I'm here. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? I'm here to rescue you, Shen. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you, Shen. Let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. What if we take Rahasia with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Why do your families hate each other so much? My father thinks the Sandals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he's earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. <coughs> the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. Okay, then. Fastest way back would seem to be just down the hall. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? As a matter of fact, yes. But he won't leave without you. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. Yeah, I about Shen that. Rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Okay. That works. So anybody got any really cool plans for the weekend coming up? You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes, she promised she would meet us outside the gates. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, 
You're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. We should get out of here quickly. You're right. We should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right. We should. Well, there you are, Shen. Father, Mr. Matale. Rahesha. Father, Mr. Sandro. Oh, God. Yorick. Alan. I knew this was all your doing. I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. You two just need to calm down. Please listen to her, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Both of you, calm down now. We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. Bullcrap. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. Shen is capable of making decisions on his own. No, I won't let you do this. I don't care. Rahage and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father, and I order you to come back with me. No, father, I won't. Rahesha, you will not leave with this... this Matale boy. I am, father, and you can't stop me. We're leaving for the Enclave. You foolish girl. Do not try to force them to return. Do not be so selfish. Let's be a little more pointed. You think to make us stand here, then? You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter. Droids, don't let them take Rahesha! We appear to be at an impasse then. And they got away! It is your fault, darling. You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids! <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I'd forgotten how much I enjoy this. Both of you, calm down. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. The Council will hear of the troubles you cause, Jedi. Indeed they shall. These guys are so, so tiresome. But at least I got a level. Okay. Let's get my Persuade up, because clearly I need some work in there. <laughs> I don't think so, Vicious. I don't think so. Um... Okay, I'll take that. <clears throat> How are things going, Mr. Soggy Roman? Well, I guess we can just go right back to the Enclave then.
I think Bastila has to stay yellow. Rahija Sandral and Shen Matali have come here seeking shelter against their families. The council has decided to give it to them. Their love for each other was being denied by overly possessive parents. And we learned that it was only by your intervention that they managed to escape here. While it is regrettable that the fences between the families were not repaired, it is good that these two young lovers can live their lives free of oppression. Okay. Got back from the Who about two hours ago. Ooh, how was it? Just chilled with my bro and watched TV a bit? That sounds good. Okay, we still have to investigate the ruins. We've still got Mandalorian raiders we need to deal with. You told Elise that her droid had been destroyed. She was devastated. She ran off towards the Jedi Enclave. This is still an active quest, so that's not completed. Maybe we need to find her here at the Enclave. Oh, that's really good. I'm glad to hear it. Juhani! I don't suppose you can come with us at this point, can you? I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Okay. Sola. Sam. Oh, Elise. I. I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. There's no need. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. I think we understand. Love can do strange things to anyone. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt. An absolutely fascinating man. Yes, he seems quite nice. Samt and I got to talking and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you. Excellent. All's well that ends well. Oh, and the kids are here. That's awesome. Raheja and I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love without fear of reprisals from our families. Just glad I could help you out. What are your plans now? We'll stay here for the next little while. We're still hoping our parents will learn to set aside their differences and welcome us back into their homes. If they do not, uh, well, perhaps we will travel to Coruscant or to the Core Worlds and make our fortunes there. Good luck to you both. May you find the happiness you deserve. Okay, so that is a happy ending for two storylines. Not Maybe not the best ending. I think it is possible to make the families reconcile, but I really should have done a heavy charisma persuasion build if I was going to do that. A future playthrough, perhaps. Neelix, what's up? How may I be of assistance, Master Jedi? I'm not a Jedi Master yet. Ah, but you are still a Jedi. How may I be of assistance? I must be going. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yes. May the Force be with you. Live long and prosper. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted. But now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him, too. 
I'll come back if I find their leader. Thank you, young Jedi. So that's the Jedi Enclave. Looks like we pretty much explored all of this, except I guess we'll make for the Strange Ruins. we don't, strictly speaking, need T3 with us at this point. Let's... Do we want to keep with mission? Let's do Karth for a bit. I believe that's me, J.H. It's because of one of the crystals that I put into my lightsaber. Implant level one. Yeah, we'll do power attack. What? We do. We do have a chance for more dialogue with Karth and Bastila. Ancient droid. This droid is speaking a language you do not recognize. What language is that? What are you trying to say? Bastila, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can reproduce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. <clears throat> hey, I understood that. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. 
Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Sunkath? Communication was vital to ensure that the slaves constructed this temple according to the wishes of the builders. But you are not of the slave species. Neither are you of the builders. You are like the one who came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. What are you? Why are you here? I am the Overseer. The Builders programmed me to enforce discipline among the slaves while this monument to the power of the Starforge was constructed. What is the Starforge? The Starforge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. But what is it? What does it do? The... The Starforge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire, etc., etc. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Who are these builders you keep talking about? <coughs> the builders are the great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the these Starforge. These must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy. But they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. We don't know yet, Mr. Soggy Raman. Perhaps. The droid speaks Selkath. Maybe they were the builders. Something must have happened to wipe the builders out. The Empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the Starforge. Have you seen a builder recently? I have been here ever since the completion of this monument. In all this time, no builder has returned to seek information on the Starforge. How long have you been here? My chronological circuits have marked over ten full revolutions of the system's outermost planet around the sun since the Builders left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. The Builders constructed my chronological circuitry using the technology of the Starforge itself. My calculations are infallible. We'll have to find out, Mr. Soggy Revan. Tell me about Revan and Malik, the ones who came before us. The ones who came before you, the ones like you, not builders but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Starforge and its origins. They proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Starforge locked beyond the sealed door behind me, but there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The Council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Ah, uh, we found Nemo again. Did you kill the Jedi over there? I am not programmed for combat. I did not harm the one who failed. This temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge of the Starforge if they are deemed unworthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the Proving Grounds to the east and west. Within them, those who understand the will of the Builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Okay then.
guardian droid, huh? This is really not going my way. That did something. Grenades a lot faster. Noted. Ugh. Okay, it looks like my autosave is quite a bit more recent than anything else, so we'll have to do that. Ah, this is perfect. I'll skip through the initial convo with the droid as much as I can. I th the droid. I reckon it must. This in the. Ten revel. The droid. Maybe the. The droid. Must Revan and Malik, we have to Okay. Good. Uh, oh, we never did check Nemo's body. A sigil crystal. Sorry, Nemo.
And now that that conversation is done, I think we're gonna save. Sorry, Bastila. Oh, crap. Ion, oh my god, why am I not using ion grenades? Dead. Sucker. Level up. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm thinking savings probably a real good idea. I need to be level 12 for enhanced healing. She has quite the force pool. terminal the ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it its screen flickers to life and a stream of incomprehensible characters scrawl across it press a button press many buttons at random talk to the computer kick to the computer computer skill attempt to slice the ancient system we're gonna leave the computer alone and see if we can possibly swap in t3 I have it saved. I'm going to see if I can retreat and swap in T3 and use his computer skills.
Okay, perfect. I'm here. Given no knowledge of the ancient system and a patent inability to read its output, your attempt is doomed. Press a button. A new sequence of equally incomprehensible characters appears on the screen. The computer goes silent and screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. You hear one of these tones softly echoed by your data pad. A small amount of receptive a small data receptacle opens in front of the ancient machine. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again and the more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. The computer goes silent again, humming softly. It seems to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Interrogative. Identify the three primary death-giving seed world types. Um, death-giving seed world types. Volcanic. Planetary type conducive to death. Additional seed world types. Barren. Additional seed world type. Oceanic, grassland, desert, or arboreal. I'm going to go desert. Breaking death seal. The ancient computer stands silent and still. The chambers on either side contain the proving grounds. Within them, wolves who understand the will of the builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. I'm going to save again, just because I have this nasty feeling we have another bad fight coming up. And actually, this is probably also a really good time to take my last break for the evening. Um, I used up pretty much all of my grenades. We may have to go back to the Enclave and see if I can get some more, especially ion grenades. I can't believe it took me that long. Well, in fairness, I was using the other types of grenades first because I didn't actually realize I had ion grenades. But I might keep T3 with me because he's also equipped with at least one ion blaster. So that will improve our odds in the fight a bit. Bad fight in games? I know. It's, uh, it, it, it's unusual, JH, but there you go. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break if you folks don't mind. I will be about three and a half to five minutes, so I'll meet you back here after that's done. If you need to get up yourself and take some water, get some food, do a little bit of stretching, whatever you need to do. This is a really good opportunity to do it, so uh, meet you back here then. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. That certainly looks like it's being held by rebel scum. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, I, I, I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Oh my god. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. There we go. Oh, shoot. No. No. <laughs> Damn it. It's a good thing I saved recently. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I am taking the win, even if I have to redo it. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. Oh. Shh. What the hell, game? What? expecting some sort of um you know gunship or something which may still be coming actually really auto drive again um oh, whoa What did I just do? How is it possible to do what I just did? I have no idea where this is going to take me, but I have a feeling it might be a station or the Nexus. What? something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, from the Moving up in the world, eh? So that's it. Got to go. Oh my god, the timing. <laughs> Where did it come from? And he's completely unmoved by what he's just walked in on, too. Cecil has become a paladin. What the hell was that? His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this.
<laughs> Saved by guidance again. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting tired enough that, believe it or not, I got entranced by my own clip show, and I just spent like two minutes watching it. <laughs> uh, all right. So we saved the game. Let's see what we have here. Oh, that's fun. There is indeed another one. Do we have any more ion grenades? We do. You're not wrong, he kind of does, doesn't he? things are nasty. They're pretty tough. The ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. Its screen flickers to life and a stream of incomprehensible characters scrawl across it. The computer goes silent, its screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again and the more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. The computer goes silent again, humming softly. It seems to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. La data interpretation complete, language analysis complete. Man, they should have had these things networked together. Interrogative, identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. Well, that would be oceanic. 
Grassland. And Arboreal. Breaking Life Seal. Droid Motion Sensors Type 1, Droid Light Plating Type 2, Environment Shield Level 1. Neither of them had any loot. That was a third droid that was just wreckage that we were able to loot. is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So what is the Starforge exactly? I, I don't know. But Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. Must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek, and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. Perhaps those worlds hold more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Corbin at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge in some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. Okay, then. Is there anything we can do here? No? I like that this map actually kind of resembles ones they've used in the movies. It's a really nice graphic. That's really, really cool. We'll talk to the droid on the way out. You have proven yourself worthy. The sealed door is open. If you wish to learn the secrets of the Starforge, you must pass through the door to the room beyond. Okay. Okay, well, there's the map, there are the fight rooms, this must be our way out. It's a shame we can't bring Nemo with us. I assume the council will send someone. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you. 
Once you get the rocks out of that droid's vocal units, would be helpful. Bastila seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. How can I help? I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision vision the two of us shared, but I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. I still don't understand why we shared this vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision, or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked, and for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. How did our fates become linked? I, I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Wow. It just seems a little convenient. The Force often seems to cause events that bend the laws of probability. Especially with those that are strongly affiliated with it. In this respect, you and I will simply have to become accustomed to such convenience. We are the tools of the Force, and we will do as it wills. You make the Force sound alive. There is no evidence one way or the other. What you believe the Force to be ultimately will decide who you are. What would you like to know? Why did we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean by a trace? They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. Maybe simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to, or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. What do you think Malak and Revan were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. Do you think we'll receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. All right. Uh, go ahead. I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundil Atsulem. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. We've done this before. Okay. We're still looking for Sasha. Presumably, if we're going to find her in any reasonable type of condition, it will be with the Mandalorian leader. Or, if they want to be particularly cruel, she might be the Mandalorian leader. young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We found an incomplete star map and mention of something called a Star Forge. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. I wanted to use the workbench, Padawan. actually. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. 
I have consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. EPA, how's it going? May the Force be with you as well. Um, we're just uh, making our way through Dantooine on uh, KOTOR. I haven't played this game in so many years. It's a real breath of fresh air to get back into it again. It's really, really fun. How are you doing? I hope all is well. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Have you played this game before? Yeah, I have, but it's been a very long time. I don't think I've played it since it was still relatively new. I even played the second one, but I didn't actually get very far in the second one, unfortunately. I ran into a game-breaking bug early on in the game, and I was never able to get past it. So, I've only really played this one, effectively. Hey, Aburnt, how's it going? Also, welcome on in. Am I to undertake this task alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. When do I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Both are good, yeah. I've heard that the second one might actually be even better than this one. I'm hoping that it comes out for Switch at some point in the future because I would prefer to play it on that or maybe the PlayStation. But I do think I have it for PC. It's just I'm a little hesitant to commit to streaming KOTOR 2 on PC because I know the first game is a nightmare to try and get set up properly to stream. Whereas uh, I, I don't actually know that the second one would be as bad. But, you know, with the first one being known to be so terrible and I've had some experience trying to set that up, it, it makes me a little bit wary. I would have to actually try it and see what happens. Darkseid has cake cookies and other nummies. Well, yeah, but th they have hidden downsides is the thing, J.H. Just played the first couple of Elden Ring. Still haven't quite learned the controls yet. I'm sure you'll get there, Aberrant. I'm sure you will get there. Uh... 
well, I haven't actually played it sketchy. I'm not entirely certain. I'm pretty sure that the story is connected in some way, builds off the first one, or has some sort of thread of connection to it, but I don't really know for certain. Steam kind of streamlined KOTOR 2. In what way? All right, I need to... Oh, wait a minute. Can I... What does this do? Attack plus one, damage plus one. Attack bonus one. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that works. Still needs tinkering? Okay, but it's better, is what you're saying. I'll have to give it a try. If it requires too much tinkering, then... Oh. Padawan, a word if I may. There are many rumors about your most recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There is talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. How do you know the Council gave me a mission? I don't think the Council would want me to speak openly of this mission. Please understand that I am not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the Order or the Republic. Whatever task the Council has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there and many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the Dark Side. What could be more dangerous than the Sith? Master Dorak has been training me to succeed him as chronicler here in the Academy. In my studies, I have come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abomination is the is uh, the the Terrant attack, a beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the Force. Over centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. What makes this creature so dangerous? The deterrent attack is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong with a primal cunning, and they have an inborn resistance to the Force. There are some who believe the Terrant attack is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the galaxy to hunt the Jedi. Fortunately, the Terrant attack is quite rare. They only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. Sounds like they're extinct. Well, then why are you worried about them now? This is not the first time the Terrans attack have vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malik's rise may have woken these creatures from their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. The Great Hunt? What's that? The Great Hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Kun. Jedi were scattered throughout the galaxy, helping to rebuild from the devastation. Many Jedi vanished during this period, disappearing from a variety of worlds without warning. We did not know they had been slain until their mutilated bodies began to be discovered. The Council investigated and discovered that Terran Tatek were behind the killings. It was decided the galaxy had to be purged of these insatiable monsters, though the cost proved high. So the Jedi just killed these creatures? Many Jedi banded together and journeyed to the planets that were suspected of harboring the Terran Tatek. The Great Hunt did not rest until the, all the creatures had been slain, or almost all. There were still rumors of Terrent attack on the planet of Korriban, a dark world some believed to be the birthplace of the Sith. That is where Exar Kun was corrupted during the first Sith War. They never went to Korriban. The Council, fearing more Jedi might fall to the dark side, declared the Great Hunt was officially over, though three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. Why? What was so special about those three? 
The Jedi chosen to continue the hunt on their own were Duran Queldroma, Gun Han Saresh, and Chela Nur. These three shared a powerful bond, and each of them was devoted to the light. The Council felt that together they would be able to defeat any Tarent attack they found, and by supporting each other, they could resist the temptations of Korriban and the lure of the dark side. But none of the three survived. Their master felt them become one with the Force when they left this world. He believed they were slain by one of the monsters they sought. The Council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else in search of their remains, so their exact fate is not known. But let their deaths serve as a warning to you, Padawan. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. A final warning as you go, Padawan. Do not underestimate the Tarentatek. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. I don't remember anything about that from the last time I played, and I finished the freaking game. Now, granted, that was, like I said, a very long time ago. They patched it and added the restored content that didn't make it to the original release? You're kidding. I actually kind of wish they hadn't done that. I'm so sleepy, probably to have to take a long nap. Yeah, I'm actually... When I started stream, I was not feeling great. I took a long time to get started tonight. I was feeling kind of gross. And I felt better as stream went on. We're now a little bit after 4 o'clock. I'm not going to be able to keep playing for too much longer, I don't think. Um... I'm tempted to go off-world, but we still have business here to deal with. I think we are going to swap out characters, though. Let's get Mission back. I'll level her up. One of these days I'm going to have to take Zalbar and he's going to have to mil level like five bazillion times because I haven't used him since Taras. Hmm? I think I do need to take that nap now though, so night all night whenever you get to sleep times next. Thank you so much, JH. Thank you for being here, too. I will catch you again later. So, we'll keep playing just a little bit longer, but I am going to have to take off fairly shortly. Thank you, JH. Let's see who else we've got around. Oh, Gar is still here. Also known as Neelix. You know what? That was a lot of dialogue we just had to endure. Let's save so that we don't have to do that again. You know, for all the experience, all the leveling, all the lightsaber crystals, and all the loot we've gotten on this planet, I've gotten precious little in the way of credits. I'm the type to believe that the light and dark act through the physical realm of sentient races, but the wielders of the Force, they can influence the Force, but the Force can influence the, them. Yeah. I think that's a reasonable way to put it. here. That's odd. Hmm. Well, how's our map at the Sandral ground area? Looks like it's mostly pretty good. But that's weird. I wonder if there are some areas that I haven't actually encountered yet, then. 
I'm at, at a bit of a loss as to where I might run into the Mandalorian leader. I'm not asking for help, by the way, chat. Just, uh, you know, just to head off any responses there. Okay, we already cleared that out. It's a constant give and take, so believe in what you think is right or wrong, but we all don't think or feel the same. Yeah, that's true. go there. We already finished the crystal cave. That's back to the grove. So the little bit that I hadn't quite gotten completely is right here. That's at the very end. I guess we'll go check out the grove area again. Maybe I missed something. Hmm. Oh! Whoa! Hey! Well, here you all are. Would you look at that? those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Oh, wow. I really don't have any good grenades left, do I? Okay. That's fair. Oops. Wow. Okay, they're actually a little bit scary. At least I know where they are now. That's a plus. Oh, we're right here. Holy crap. You know what? I think I might head back in for just a moment and maybe get a few additional supplies. Maybe see... I've, oh, shoot. I don't... I don't... Uh, oh, wait, do we have to talk again? Uh, I, I don't have a lot in the way of credits, but I might be able to sell stuff. How can I help? You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Doesn't the bond mean my presence is necessary? Necessary, perhaps, but it is no guarantee of our success. Admit, I'm a 
little disturbed that such a bond could be possible in the first place. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Okay. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I was a scout. The fleet recruited me for my skills. Good. On which planet were you born? Duralia. Excellent. Your current age is? Wasn't all this in my service records? Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Okay. Let's see if I can sell crap. I don't know how much I've got to sell, but I've probably got something. If nothing else, I do know that I've got lots of unnecessary droid upgrades. I guess I could have taken the shortcut and just zapped back to the Ebonhawk, huh? Oh well. You deal in droid bits. Show cell list. Value zero. Well, Jedi robes go for 25, though. I can probably get rid of these. I'm never going to use that. Or those. Let's keep Mission's Vibroblade. The regular ones... I'll sell one. I'm gonna keep the Vibro Sword. Vibro Double Blade, nice. We're not getting rid of crystals. I think we can probably ditch all the blaster pistols. I'm a little tempted to sell the mines because, I don't know, maybe I should keep them. I It's just hard for me to imagine ever actually using them. Droid light plating type 1, we're not going to need that. In fact, we're not even really going to need the type 2 because we've got medium type 1. I will keep the light type 3 though, because that would be an upgrade as soon as T3 gets that feet in place. Motion sensors I'll keep. I shouldn't need... well, actually I'll keep those. The environment shield. We've already got a shield disruptor, so we don't need another one. Okay, so that gave me a few credits. That's pretty good. Achuta. I don't doubt it's sketchy. The mines are pretty good, but they're a pain in the ass to use, which means I'm not likely to, except in unusual circumstances. What do you have against Zerka Corporation? 
They've got a monopoly on half the galaxy already, and they do everything they can to keep anyone else from getting a foothold in their territory, extortion, bribing officials, and government diplomats. Not to mention driving up prices on essentials like food and water on distant colonies. I've heard stories of them letting people starve to death just because they couldn't afford their jacked up prices. And since they've thrown themselves in with the Sith, things have only gotten worse. Worse? How has it gotten worse? The Sith are tangled up in an expensive war with the Republic. They need supplies, equipment, resources. There's lots of opportunities for a company with no morals, like Zerka Corp, to make some major profits. Malak has given them exclusive trading rights wherever the Sith have control. It's bad enough they're helping to finance the Sith war effort, but I've heard rumors of even worse stuff. Slaving, pillaging planets of their resources, genocide of indigenous species. The Sith and Zerka Corp seem like a perfect match to me. Ah, listen to me going on. You didn't come here to listen to my ramblings on the evils of the Zerka Corp, I'll bet. What can I do for you? Okay, let's see. Sanasiki's Blade. Oh, right. I forgot. He's got a lot of really awesome stuff that I can't even begin to dream of affording right now. Infiltrator Gloves. CNS Strength Enhancer. But in some cases, knowledge can be used for good or bad, but if you perceive the knowledge is bad and only bad, you're too closed-minded or oblivious to the possibility of it being used for good. Yep. I agree. Just gotta be a little careful. Retinal combat implant awareness plus one. I can't afford that now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, I think it's just about 4.30. And we're geared up and ready to go. This is probably a really good time to save it, and I will be playing this again tomorrow night. So if you guys wouldn't mind coming with me on a bit of a raid, we're going to go find somebody that we can hang out with. Thank you for making this an awesome stream. I really appreciate all the support this evening. We got a number of raids and hosts and a number of new followers. That's always welcome. I appreciate all of you for deciding that out of all the places you could have been on the internet this evening, hanging out with me was worthwhile. So thank you for that. That does mean a lot. Let's see who we've got online. Thank you, Jen Fair. I want to get to sleep a little bit early tonight so I can feel better tomorrow. Hodon Kane is on. He's playing some Warframe. Laxative Legacy is playing some Elden Ring. Um, Pallet Box is doing some No Man's Sky. Oh, actually, Tricker Tori is on. Tori's doing a 30 hour 30th birthday stream. That's fun. Known Tori for a number of years here. She's always fun. It's been a while since we've had a chance to raid her. Simcopter1 is playing Nintendo Switch Sports, which honestly, uh, I've actually got my eye on that. I don't have the game yet, but I'm kind of tempted, I have to say. Tea with Mandy is on. Oh, it's a cooking stream, too. That's interesting. What if Julia's playing some... Poppy Playtime. I have no idea what that is, but that looks interesting. I think that's about it. So let me go over that again real quickly. We had Hodon Kane with Warframe. Laxative Legacy with Elden Ring. We had... Um, Trick or Tori with Just Chatting. Her birthday stream. 30th, 30 hour, 30 birthday thing. Pallet Box with No Man's Sky. Simcopter with Nintendo Switch Sports. Tea with Mandy with Cooking. And What If Julia with Poppy Playtime. 
You like Poppy Playtime? It's a new... It's a horror title? You're kidding me. Wow, Nabby, I would not have guessed that. All right, I guess we're gonna, you know, pop in there and see what's... In, no pun intended. We'll pop in there and see what Julie is up to and see what this new game is all about. So let me just load up her channel and see what's going on. Okay, I have a little bit of an ad to sit through, but it's not too long. A few more seconds. It's a really disgusting looking KD ad. Okay. This looks very weird. But she's got grapple hands, so that's cool. Let's do it. We'll go visit Julia. We're going to go raid What If Julia. And it gave you my link instead of Julia's link. That's fun. Let me type out her link for you. I honestly have no idea why it does that. It's been doing that for a couple of years now, and I cannot figure it out to save my life. Even though I have other commands that present people's links, and they work perfectly every single time. So, you got me. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked as our raid call. If you are a sub, you can use the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are not a sub, you can use the tomb raid and the uh, Twitch raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, I do encourage you to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own that you'd like to use, if you have emotes from other streamers that you would like to use, or if there are other Twitch emotes you want to use, just go ahead, copy the raid message, arrange whatever emotes you're going to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Julia's channel, see how she's doing with this new and rather odd-looking game. I will meet you back here tomorrow night for some more Knights of the Old Republic goodness. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you over in Julia's channel in just a moment. So thank you once again for making this a really good stream. It was very low-key and relaxing, which is precisely what I needed on a night when I was not feeling my best. So thank you for that. It was really, really good. I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night again. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And have a great start to your weekend, too, because uh, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am just into the beginnings of Saturday here. So I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Oh, that's true, Aaron, though. I always forget about that. I'm telling you, 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 I'm telling you,